Hello everyone and thank you so much for checking in. So if you're watching this video, it's because you're looking for your next set of ATV tires and that is difficult because there's a lot of really good options. If you've been to our website at RockyMountAtvMC.com, you know we've got a giant selection of ATV tires. So to make things a little bit easier for you, we have narrowed it down to six. We're gonna go through, we'll talk about each of the tires up here today and kind of talk about what's unique and different about all of them to help you decide and help steer you in a good direction. But look, don't just take our word for it. Read rider reviews. There's a lot of good reviews on all the tires that we're gonna show you today. If you're on the product pages, if you have questions specifically about these tires, you can ask those questions on the product page and you will get answers from customers who have bought and are using these exact tires. So there's a lot of great resources out there to get good information on the tires that you're looking to pick up. Last thing I will mention too, something you could take advantage of is our tire and wheel package builder. What that allows you to do is that once you find the tires that you like, if you're looking to get a new set of wheels also, you can pick your tires and wheels, match them up, and we will mount them up and give you free shipping. So it's a great way to save a lot of money. So with that being said, let's dive in and talk about the first two tires that we have up here. We've got the Kenda Bear Claw and we have the ITP Mud Light AT. So these are two of your more classic style tread designs for an ATV tire. And something that you're gonna hear me mention a few times throughout this video is land to sea ratio. And basically what, what we mean by that is how much tread do you have, how much rubber's contacting the ground compared to the void and the space that you have between the tire lugs. Now with these you can see, they're aggressive tread designs. You've got a lot of open space between the tread lugs, which is gonna really help with self cleaning. So in muddy, soft, loamy conditions, these tires are gonna self clean, they're gonna perform really well. Now a couple differences between these two, if you're not quite sure which one would be best, What's unique about the Kenda Bear Claw is that it is the lightest tire that's gonna be in our lineup today. Both of these are six ply rated, but the Bear Claw is the lightest at just under 20 pounds, and all the tires that we're showing you today are in a 25 by 10 by 12. So a little bit lighter than the Mud Light AT, but one difference I would point out is that the Mud Light AT does have a little bit more aggressive tread design, and the tread blocks on this are about a quarter inch taller than the Bear Claw. So you could say you could get a little bit more durability out of the Mud Light AT, and when you look at the side lugs here, you can see that they do come down a little bit farther on the ITP, so a little bit more protection on the sidewall, or maybe if you're in like a deep rut, pressed up against a rock or something, you get a little bit of added traction here on the sidewall of the ITP. But with both these, like I said, they're both classic ATV tires, been around a long time. You could not go wrong with either one of these. All right, next up we have the ITP Mud Light 2, and we have the Terraform from Tusk. Now right away when you look at these two, a couple of the big differences that stand out is the tread pattern is more aggressive than the first two tires that we just showed you. And also, when you look at the sidewall on both of these, is you notice that there are more aggressive lugs on the sidewall, so again, added protection there, but also more grip if you are in a rut or pressed up against an object. Now with the ITP Mud Light 2, so with this success that they had with that AT, they came out with this version. Like I said, it's a more aggressive tread design. And a couple of the added bonuses or features that they did with this tire is one, they added these tendons at the base of the knobs. That's to help reduce the amount of flex that you get with the tire and also add to the durability as well. And also you can see that they added these bars right here going along the side. This is just to help this thing clear mud. So in real muddy conditions, this thing's gonna perform well. A couple of the trade-offs, however, with the Mud Light 2 is you do go up a little bit in price and it is about four pounds heavier per tire than the Mud Light AT. But again, you're getting a more aggressive tread design and you're getting a couple added features with the new version. Now with the Terraform from Tusk, this is the newest tire in the Tusk lineup. And this thing you can see, it looks awesome. It's got a very aggressive tread pattern. You've got good open voids between those lugs to help this thing perform really well in the sand and the muddy conditions. But I will tell you that we did a lot of testing with the Terraform. We took this thing down to Nevada and did 100 plus mile days for multiple days in a row just to make sure this thing was gonna hold up to the abuse that we know riders gonna put it through and it performed really well, even on those hard pack and rocky conditions. You see again, you got the aggressive side lugs on the sidewall, the tire as well. Both of these, like the first two, are six ply rated. Now with the Terraform, the only thing better about this tire than the durability and the performance is the price tag. You just can't beat the value that you're getting with the Terraform. So again, these are two of our more modern style tread designs. Now let's show you the last two that we have. All right, we've made it. Last two tires in the lineup. We have the Tusk Trilobite HD and we have the Tusk Terabyte. Now looking at these, remember that term I used earlier, that land to sea ratio? These two tires are pretty different compared to what we showed you earlier. The tread lugs on these are both a lot closer together 
than what we showed you. And where that's really gonna help these tires perform is in more of your medium to hard pack conditions. So still perform well in the sand and mud, but where these tires are really gonna shine is in those harder surfaces. So if you spend a lot of your time in those conditions, these would be really good options. Also, a big standout feature about both of these is that they're both eight ply rated. So the sidewall construction, the durability, and the puncture resistance is going to be better on both the terabyte and the trilobite HD. So a couple things. However, you do add some weight here with that tougher sidewall construction with the trilobite HD, you're about 25 pounds and then 25, 10, 12. And with the terabyte, you're gonna be about 28 pounds. But when you look at it, you can see there's a lot of rubber on this tire, which also really helps with the durability. Now with the terabyte, this has been another tire that we developed here that we are super proud of because the performance is awesome. The tread design, we came up with this. We wanna make sure that it performed really good across the board in a variety of different conditions. And it does that extremely well. You've got the aggressive side lugs on the sidewall, which we talked about earlier. But again, where the terabyte can really shine for you in those medium hard pack conditions. And you can see that the tread design is much more of that all terrain style tread design that a lot of riders might be looking for. So if those are what you're after, the terabyte is going to be awesome. Now, last but not least, we have the Trilobite HD. Now, the Trilobite has a more classic style to the tread, but you notice, like I said, that land to sea ratio, it does have a more closed tread pattern than the previous tires that we showed you, but it kind of bridges the gap between what we've previously showed you and the terabyte, which means that this tire is pretty much happy anywhere you take it. It's got enough voids between the tread lugs that it does well in the softer, muddier conditions, but it also does well in hard pack conditions as well. And if you're just looking for a really good replacement for your stock OEM tires on your machine, but get the added strength and durability of that eight ply rated sidewall, then the Trilobite would be a fantastic option. And that does it. That is our 2022 ATV Tire Buyer's Guide. So hopefully today, like I said, we just wanna give you some really good options, some of our personal favorites and some of our best selling. So go read rider reviews, ask those questions on the product pages. If you have one of the tires that we showed you today, we would love to hear your thoughts. So comment below, what tires do you have? What have you liked and disliked about it? And also tell us what tires you plan to pick up next. If you do have questions, Again, leave those in the comments section. To grab your next set of tires today and to see that tire and wheel package builder, click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. We ship for free over 75 bucks. And if you like this video, well, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell. That way you always know when we're releasing great UTV and ATV content like you saw today. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.